Hey up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back my glorious battlement to some more Attila Total War. So before we kick things off, what I want to say is that I'm going to be uploading some Third Age Total War tomorrow and just Third Age Total War. Um, I'm going to start bringing back all my other series, however, there is a chance for you guys to get an extra Attila episode tomorrow. If this video gets 70 likes before I record tomorrow afternoon, um, I will go ahead and record another Attila episode. So yeah. you, tomorrow will only be Third Age Total War, unless this video gets 70 likes um, in a day, I guess. Uh, yeah, so it's up to you guys. If you really want to see Attila, then make sure to go ahead and like this video. Um, I'm doing this mainly because I want to start bringing back my series, which I was doing before Attila. Um, obviously, I wanted to start doing Mountain Blade and Third Age and stuff. Um, but if there's still so much love for Attila, I'm more than happy to do, or if I can, I'm more than happy to do an episode of an Attila and then an episode of another series as well in one day. But it's up to you guys. Um, obviously. So we were last left of this battle. Uh, we had like, we had like, I think two units of Legia, a unit of spears, a unit of swords, a unit of archers, and the unit of horsemen. Um, I think this battle was maybe not winnable. I mean, it, it is very much winnable, I think, just because their infantry is so poor. Um, if I had a unit of Palantine Guard, I think it would be very much winnable. But not having that unit of Palantine Guard really hurts us. However, yeah, they, look at their infantry. Infantry is pretty wank. Our Legio should tear them apart, hopefully. The only thing I'm slightly worried about in this army is the amount of slings they have. Uh, but as long as we form defensive test judo, we should be fine. Their general unit will be really strong. And we don't have a unit of Palantine Guard to counter him. And their cavalry is a little bit annoying. But apart from that, I think we've got a really good chance. Are they coming across the river? No, they're not. I really want someone to come across the river. Like, no one's done it yet. It's sad times. Okay, cool. So we defend these two. We have barricades there. They have slingers there. The main bulk of the army is there. And they have their general over here. Okay, cool. So general's over here. Where's their cavalry, actually? Let's have a look at their cavalry. No cavalry over there. One unit of horses over there. And one unit of horses over here. Okay, so I guess our general has to come over here. And then they can come and aid, along with missiles. I, I guess having missiles with my general was the most important thing. And then the two Legio infantry swordsmen come, come over here. And they'll form defensive Testudo as well. So they're ready to hold off anything which comes out. But cool, that's a pretty solid formation so far. And then I'll leave my horses here. I mean, I kind of want to hide them. Because I don't want them to die. I want them to obviously engage my forces first. But I feel like I'm just going to get shot, shot at straight away. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, cool. So the main task here is to either kill as many as physically possible. Or just or just obviously win the battle. I guess winning the battle would be kind of nice. Yay! I mean, there's literally no point. We are outnumbered. Yeah, there's no point just using heavy shot. I was thinking about using heavy shot, but they literally have no armor whatsoever on their infantry. Their infantry literally is wearing cloth. So our archers, our, I'm hoping our archers will do a lot of damage, along with these towers as well. These towers should hopefully go in and pick off quite a few uh, enemy troops. I really don't, because I feel like these are just going to get wasted because they're just going to send like their cavalry around to fight me or something. So maybe if I move on this side of a bridge, just for now, maybe that'll be enough. Hopefully they don't come and break down these barricades either, because normally the AI doesn't, but they could. Hopefully they don't. So they don't really have much to send. Oh, nice, a nice volley of our arrows. Didn't actually kill anyone. Which was a bit sad. Another volley. Killed like two guys. Okay, it's not as good as I, I, I would have liked, but that's fine. Um, I will go ahead and tell these guys just a normal shot now. I think standard shot will be fine. A general is holding up. He should hold up fine as, as long as he's braced. 
Yeah, he's selling defensive test judo, so he should be holding up fine. I'm going to reinforce there because a lot of you guys were telling me how I was messing up with... I was messing up with my formations. Like, I was telling... I was doing defensive test judo, and then I would just mess it up because I was telling them to attack. So I've made, I'm making sure I'm not doing that now. My men are holding formations. Hopefully, they'll, they'll do a good job. I mean, these slingers are asking to be charged into. So we'll go ahead and slaughter these slingers straight away. I think our infantry can hold. But yeah, we're doing a good job. Oh, that hill is just so deadly. Look at it. Nice, we managed to win uh, that engagement there, which is really good. Over here is going to be a little bit harder, just the fact that they, their general will be doing so good. Our general is... I mean, our horses are killing them the slingers, which is amazing. We're shooting at these guys. I mean, the more horses we can kill, the better, really. Um, I guess these guys focus on these dudes whilst the horses are engaged. And then we'll, when the horses run away, we, we, we'll just chill. Their general is charging me. Okay, let's back off. That's good, though, because it keeps their general away from the rest of their men over here. Which I guess is very nice. Cool, now we only have to deal with the horses here. Their missiles are really hurting now. Really, really hurting. Where's our cavalry? We need to get our cavalry over here ASAP and route these, these missiles. Because our general was taking a pounding from missiles. Crap, and they're charging me as well? Fuck. They're not going to form up in time, are they? Nope. Uh, how's our cav doing? Our cav is about to smash into their slingers. Yeah, if we wipe out their slingers, that'll be really, really good for us. Our general is taking absolute pounding, though. He's under 63 men now. That is not good at all. But it looks like we have somewhat already won this side, though. Um, I just want to make these units route so our general survives. I want to focus it. Oh, yeah. Also, thank you guys for all the response to Quintus. He would have been very, very happy that you guys showed your love. Um, I want to make sure I route this before my general routes or dies. Cool, we managed to make them route. Okay, they now form defensive chest pseudo. They should not take any damage from missiles now. And our cav, our cav and this infantry should be able to clean up the rest of their missiles without too much worry. Over here, we're still holding. We've lost like 25 men so far. So they're doing very good, they're holding. Very, very good. Our cav will now hopefully be cleaning all this up. Our general can now pretty much just chill. These can just come over and help with mass, I think. Let's go over and silence these equites. These swords should be enough to kill the slingers somewhat easily. I'm hoping anyway they should be able to. The same numbers and I'm actually melee combat trained, so. Oh, in the stomach right there. See you later, kid. And we still managed to keep this tower alive, actually. So they're actually doing a really good job. They're still holding. Their morale isn't great, but they're still holding, which is good. And we just need to route them, which will be hopefully very soon. And I actually might throw my general over there now. Because there's actually nothing which can come, come in that way. So I'm going to throw my general over now just to go ahead and boost morale. Run them down, swordsman. It's nothing. No good units, so that's fine. Come on, just make them route properly. Make them route properly, please. I mean, I'll, I really do would rather use this sword. This sword infantry elsewhere, or this cavalry elsewhere, would be more precise. Well, especially to route these guys first. There we go, lovely. Okay, cool. Let's move over and route these guys. 
Hopefully my spears go ahead and boost up um, morale over here. Yeah, having my general here will be very good for morale. We'll boost him literally right behind the lines as well. I mean, and then after we route these, we can go ahead and send these 48 swords over as well. I mean, it's only 48 swords. But, you know, it's better than not having another 48 swords, I guess. And then my cav can move round to hopefully maybe disrupt some of these missiles. I don't think there, there's enough horses to kill these. But, you know, it might, it might cause them to have to bring someone back or something. Hey, cool, so we've managed to win one side. We're still outnumbered heavily. They still have... We've killed a thousand, basically. And they still have a thousand left to kill. And we've lost about half of our men as well. Oh, please, I want them to run away so that I can just smash into the side of these guys. But it's actually ideal that they back off. Hopefully they didn't shoot me. If they shoot me, I'm, I'm going to lose so many horses. But I'd much rather smash into the side of this. Cool, that was actually so much damage. Nice. Let's get them out of there now. If they can get out of there. I think, oh no, they're, they're all dead. That's them done. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There was only like 10 of them left anyway. They caused a big look there. Everyone's morale is going down. But I think my morale is not going to last very long. Oh, we're getting shot at as well. So let's go ahead and form defensive chest. Dude, it gives us such a high missile block. It's crazy. I think we just throw everyone in now. And just hope for the best. Just hope we can push them back. I'm even tempted to take these guys off for formation. Just to try and get some casualties and cause a mass route. Yeah, let's just move in and try and kill as many as possible. I think eventually we are going to rout. So if we can at least kill as many as possible, maybe we can cause a mass rout. I think that's what we're going for instead of just defending and holding. We're going for kills because our men are a lot better than theirs. So who knows? We might be able to hold off. What's routing? The missiles are going to be hurting. Yeah, the missiles are really going to be hurting. But, you know, as long as we kill, it's, it's like the more we kill, the better. It just means that Aquila's a little bit more safe every extra man we kill. And we're doing a good job. Like, yeah, we're routing some men. We're all going to route any second now. But that's mainly just because of the missiles. Like, there's just so many of them. If I would have had, like, maybe one more unit of cavalry, I think I could have done this easily. They did, a, they did a very good job, though. It was a valiant defeat. We killed, like, a thousand men. Like, that's... That's really good. Okay, we killed more than that. We killed 1,500. So that's, that would have definitely have hurt the... Like, for how much we had. Like, my men did very, very good. My archers killed a lot. Oh, crap. This, this is in Verona as well. Crap, this is actually in Rome. Or in Italy. Um, I do have a stack, like, right by there, which will come and save Verona. But that's, that's annoying. I'm going to have to repair stuff in Verona now. Wow, my bad, I guess. <laughs> I totally forgot that they were attacking Verona. I should have had an army there. That was my bad. I mean, we can replenish it. And we have an army ready to go anyway to defend it. So that's fine. Like, we, ha we have troops there to defend next time. That was just me being stupid. I guess I should have put troops there earlier. And we're losing pretty much the rest of Spain now. Like, Spain is starting to fall completely. Which is good, because then now we don't have to really worry about it. Like, even though we haven't been worrying about it at all anyway. We are going to lose a gold province, though, in a second. Which is going to be a little bit annoying. 
Like, the, one of the provinces in Spain is, like, really vital. Yeah, we got a fucking civil war as well. That's really annoying. That's actually really frustrating. Because now we have to go out and actually kill the civil war. Uh, why are you taking me over here? No, thank you. Now we actually have to push out and attack, kill the civil war, which is all the way up here. Which is annoying because it's got all these fucking tribes next to it as well. And a unit of a massive army of rebels as well. And because of the civil war, we, we're in a civil war. It's like minus one public order, integrity, and loyalty to all units. That is so long. Um, I guess we form up an elite legion to go out on a search and destroy mission to kill the, the separatists before they become any stronger. Uh, we need to get this as well to boost our integrity. I mean, if we get that, then it kind of trades integrity. Uh, it says that this unit has, can upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade. He can upgrade. At your command. Uh, you can also upgrade as well. Good. Um, I guess you, I should put up your melee defense. <laughs> What's this? Your melee attack? Or melee defense? When commanding? Well, he's both melee defenses. Yeah, they are. I might actually just put them in both. So that this defensive force is just, like, unbeatable. I mean, the integrity will be nice, actually. As long as we can keep integrity high. Which it is going up per turn, which is nice. Um, oh, yeah, down here as well with Quintus's army. Quintus was ready to push forward, wasn't he? Let's continue his, his march into the desert. And they literally don't have anyone here. Lovely. Oh, okay, maybe they do. We'll get as many mercenaries as possible. Surely this will be enough. There we go. Okay, cool. I'm going to quickly quick save it just in case the auto resolve doesn't, doesn't work. Um... We will go... We'll go aggressive. Nice. Uh, what would I do? What will I do? Huh. What could I do? Boom! That was for Quintus. That was for Quintus. I'm happy. I'm happy I did that. Okay, cool. I'm going to disband all these... All these mercenaries now. I'm actually going to keep the mercenary infantry, though. And actually the slingers as well. I, I kind of like having the slingers around. Okay, cool. They can march back into Carthage now. Well done, Scipio. Oh, it's called Scipio. <laughs> Marcus Scipio. Well done. Scipio did a brilliant job of avenging Quintus there. A very, very good job. Um, I, oh, I really have to push out now and kill him. Okay, cool. This is what we're going to do. is We're going to form up uh, and a sick legion and then Mesa, uh, Vindinius Mesa will move out. I mean, maybe our faction leader should move out, actually. Yeah, our faction leader is actually going to move out. He's going to prove himself to the enemy and to him that Rome is nothing to mess with. Okay, cool. So he has that many swords and that much infantry. We'll now give him both his swords. Yeah, so now he has 19 units. I mean, I'll just get a unit of horses if I can. Yeah, I mean, I'll get a unit of horses. Okay, this search and destroy mission is ready. Quintus, I mean, um, uh, Flavius Honius, or Hornius. Honorus. Yeah, Honorus. Oh, that's kind of cool. He's Honorus to kill the rebellion. Yeah, Honorus is ready to move. Nice. Small army here, which is fine. They're going to be attacking Vienna really soon. I do want to... Oh, I do kind of need to build troops there. But I want to be spending money on the economy. And repairing this, which is annoying. I was like, all oh, my money, wow. Oh no, I destroyed that. I can't even afford to convert... Oh no, I don't need to convert it. I just need to repair it. But Oh, I can't afford it, can I? Okay, cool. I guess we just end the turn again. I'm sorry, many of you guys could have said, because I'm in a little bit of a financial issue right now, that I should have raised that province. But no, Quintus deserved that honor. We well, actually got some good men now. We have Vienna. Crap, they're already attacking it. And they've actually got some good infantry as well.
Um, I guess, I don't know if I, because I don't want this episode just to be, ah, oh, okay. I'm going to fight it just because I need to start whittling down more hordes. Um, sorry if this episode's a little bit boring because I'm just fighting unwinnable battles uh, against all these factions, like all these migrating factions. I'm just literally just fight, trying to fight a war of attrition. I mean, actually, this battle could be winnable, uh, in all honesty. Like, I could actually win this battle if I kill their horses. Um, yeah, so again, apologies if it's a, if it's a little bit boring because I'm just fighting these these kind of crappy battles. But I think I need to do it for survival, and a lot of you guys actually actually were cool with me fighting battles like this. And anyway, next episode, um, on, uh, Honorus is moving out, isn't he, with his massive ass legion, so to bring glory to Rome. Um, Okay, cool. But it looks a bit they're not actually coming through this direction at all, so I don't need to build any barricades there. We can focus on this little section here. Okay, the majority of their majority of their forces are over here, so we'll go ahead and form up like this, I think. Okay, I think that's as good as we're going to get with these swords round here. I mean, with these horses round here. Cool. I think this is as good as it's going to get. This time it's going to be a lot harder. Mainly because they actually have good infantry now. If they actually had really bad infantry, I'd be a little bit more pumped about this. But their infantry is actually kind of good. I love how you can just hear my general's speech echo. Oh, nice. Bit of a texture mess up here. Or map building mess up. The hill's not very great. Okay, cool. So we're not actually going to come down here. We are outnumbered. We are outnumbered, but any one of, one of my Romans is worth six of theirs. So we've got this. Don't worry. That's fine if you give away wine because they're probably not going to survive, so. Ready. Can you feel it? The ghosts here are troubled. Shut it! You're upsetting the lads. The ghosts here are troubled, wow. I mean I wouldn't want to attack this formation. This formation looks solid. Okay, they're just getting rid of all the towers. Oh, hopefully they charge their horses into my spears and not into my swords. That'd be really sucky. Are they literally just pretty much ignoring this? Keep him alive. The tower has Are they literally just ignoring my left, my right side? If they only move like one unit, I'm going to be really pissed. Oh no, okay, a few more. I'm actually going to move these guys over here as well. And then just hit their general. Cool, we've actually almost routed one of their unit of horses already. Which is really good. These swords should be able to take on like two units, especially with the cavalry support. They should do they should do a fine job. Uh, we'll use heavy shot as well, because he's gonna be extremely armoured. So hopefully we can kill as many of them as possible. My sword should be doing fine against these. Oh, the horses are actually kind of a bit of a problem. I need to go support with mine, like, straight away. Hopefully, yeah, we are actually taking down quite a few of their general units, actually. We need to get round here, like, ASAP, though. Because our swords would have not have enjoyed that. I'm actually going to let them fight them 1v1. Well, that unit over there is already routing just from the tower shots. Okay, cool. I'm more than happy just to try and make this unit route. And we are still taking them down. We're down to 16 now. Okay, cool. We're going to have to charge. We're going to have to charge down the hill of these guys. That actually should be really good for us.
Like, we should win this engagement, I think, even if they are somewhat better, which they are somewhat better with their Lancers. Cool, come on, let's win this, let's win this soon. I'm actually going to back off, because um, if they want to, they've got some horses coming as well, so I'm actually just going to run away. Oh my god, how the hell did they do that? Oh my god, hats off to the, the AI. Wow, well, I think I might have just lost the battle. The AI can, like, I should have really have noticed that. We're going to have to detach some of these guys just to hold them off, but, yeah, but they're not going to hold them off long enough, I don't think. Again, just so many missiles, Jesus. Good luck, these swords. Uh, yeah, now it's just now it's just a quality control, really, of how many men we can kill before we all rout. I guess. For their lives. I mean, yeah, we got we got wrecked again, but. As long as we're killing, yeah, we killed 500 that time. I guess it's better than nothing. It's not quite the 1400 we got last time, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, that's that's annoying. We lost that. I'm actually gonna have to build an army in Aquilia 60 or Aquil, whatever that province is right there. Well, actually, they liberated them. What are they? Like Ghoul or something? I swear Ghoul's already a faction though. I don't know, I guess we'll have to see. I mean, it's kind of nice if this is a faction, because I'd much rather fight this faction than fight the Hordes, so maybe the Hordes will actually back off now. I mean, I mean, in my uh, guide let's play, like in, in the playthrough I was doing when I was doing my guide video, the Swaby actually offered me peace, like halfway through. I guess they didn't want to move in or fight me in Rome or something, but yeah, they, they straight up was just like, now nah, we're cool. I just really want to end this civil war though. I really do hate civil wars. They just go on for long. And especially because if they just... I don't know. They, it can get really, really frustrating really, really quickly. So yeah. My general is moving out. Um, who's this? Against who? That's actually really a really big thing, but I can't afford to break my alliance, surely. I have to enter a war on their side, but that's actually really, really crucial. I might literally just have to abandon Africa now. I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll see how much pressure they put on me. But maybe, yeah, maybe we'll have to abandon Africa. I mean, normally I don't like to, obviously because it's, it's, it gives, gives you money and stuff, but... Oh, the Illyrians actually pushed forward, wow, to fight me. That is very interesting. I think we have a better army than they do. Yeah, we do definitely have a better army than they do. Especially because they have some Limentari bodyguard and some crappy spears. Okay, cool. Well, this will be for the next episode. Um, obviously, as I don't want this episode to run too long. Uh, if you enjoy this, please do go ahead and like and subscribe um, and also comment. I try and reply to every single comment um, within like a day or two. Uh, this battle is actually going to be really crucial because if we win this, then we'll then be somewhat more clear to fighting the Western Separatists, which we need to kill like ASAP. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Fish out. Stay loyal, Bannerman.